Last time on Some Gadget Guy. When I reviewed the M6, I shot a whole second video about getting an ear scan at the Mi Audio offices in Southern California. I'll be doing the same for this generation too, but this time I wanted to take a more consumer approach. My wife has funky little pixie ears and has always had issues fitting in ear earbuds. So we're gonna see if some custom molded tips will work for Mrs. Gadget Guy. They're in this box right now. She hasn't had a chance to play with them. We're gonna get all the reactions right here. Nothing has ever fit her ears, so we'll have to see if these can get the job done. Hey, Mikey, I think she likes them. Mrs. Gadget Guy hates being on camera. I'm feeling pretty good. You're not feeling nervous? <laughs> In over 10 years of producing web content, I think she's been in front of the camera maybe five times. Most notably to have a bagel slapped out of her hands by Darren Norris from Veronica Mars. I miss producing our old movie review show, but I digress. I've got to set the stage a bit because my wife is not an audiophile or audio gearhead, or has ever cared much about audio or recording technology. Almost zero interest in any of the kit in this home office. And part of the reason might be she's never really been able to wear decent earbuds. In the past, uh, when I've worn headphones, I honestly don't know if it's the shape of my ears or the size of them, but generally speaking, they have not Earbuds don't stay in. And I wanted to fix that. So we took a field trip down to the Mi Audio offices in Southern California. She got an optical scan, which kind of confirmed that she has ridiculously tiny pixie ear canals. The tech for this fitting is so stinking cool. If you've ever had molds done, this is a ton more comfortable. Didn't really know what to expect. They had a little device that they stuck in that they were going to scan the inside of my ear. We tried to make it a family affair, but our daughter wasn't much interested after seeing the first ear scan. In getting the scan done, there was actually a small concern that her ears were too narrow to properly build the casing which would fit inside her ear. Both times he said, I think we got what we need. <laughs> but we finally have the molds in, so let's check out that very first fit. You've never had a pair of earbuds that have fit you well. Are you excited to finally see what the inside of your ears look like? I'm very curious. We'll see. <laughs> Here are your custom molded me audio ear tips you want to open that box all right let's see weird is this the shape I, I mean i gather that this is the ear canal but is this like a shape of my Ooh. my ears are weird looking so i have them on the drivers just trying to figure out an angle here Wow. So that's a lot more comfortable just right off the bat than these. Like it kind of just fit perfectly. It slid right in a lot easier than these. With these, I spent minutes twisting and squishing and trying to twist it into my ear and causing discomfort. It's not causing pressure points of pain. So this one's a little going in a little more awkwardly. I can feel that it kind of, once I figured out the direction, and it kind of s almost snapped right in like a button. Everything's gone silent. It's very isolating. Filled in all the space of my ear. I'm probably yelling louder than I need to. No control over the volume. No control over the volume of my voice. So on the phone, we've got some music. Uh, I've just seen a face by the Beatles, so let's see uh, how this goes. I keep like reaching because I'm used to doing that. Not to sound cliche, but I feel like I was hearing things that I don't normally hear because it was, it was so, um, so it was like surrounding me. It was, it, it eliminated the noise around me. I have never heard details, the details within the song that I heard just now. Again, you don't feel it. I didn't feel it clinging to my ear or pinching or anything. I it still felt secure. Now what you can't see is just the huge grin I have on my face on the other side of the camera. Now, she doesn't usually get lit up about this stuff. The folks at Mi Audio actually have a little surprise for you. They know I have a bunch of their earbuds. They don't want your earbuds to get confused with my earbuds. You wanna open this up, this little envelope. Kinda nervous now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. There are these little butterfly symbols. 
that I'm guessing go on the outside. Oh, yeah, they're magnetic. Is this because when we were there, our daughter talked about butterflies? <laughs> Amazing. This is so sweet of them. I can't believe they did that, especially just that they remembered what what our daughter said. <laughs> I was stoked for her though. She's never had earbuds that fit. And open ear solutions are kind of really bad for you. They train you to listen louder than you really should. I'm eager to try them on an airplane where sometimes the noise of the plane is so loud. Just the, the sort of the white noise of the plane is so loud that I'm having to turn up the volume just to blasting. Getting down to brass tacks, all in. The options we picked and the molds themselves Mrs. Gadget Guy is sporting around $300 worth of audio tech. That's in the ballpark for a premium pair of Bluetooth cans. She now has a solution perfectly fit to her ear anatomy. I had had the kind that kind of went over your ears, eager to try them at the gym. Um, I actually don't think this would be a great thing to wear while running outside, primarily because you want to hear cars going by. Kind of wish I could go just start a workout right now to see how that goes. It's been my soapboxy hypothesis that this kind of audio customization should be a more visible solution for consumers. We position this as a pro audio only kind of option, but a lot of people would probably like this. Unfortunately, folks don't really look into custom molds until they're well into needing some hearing aids. It was a really interesting experience anyway, just getting to have someone scan your ears, especially for somebody like me who's always had trouble, but getting them, definitely worth, worth the time. And I think at this point, worth the money um, for me because I've, I've never had anything like this before. These are not cheap solutions, but my wife is digging it. And call me biased, but I think her ears are worth it. I'll of course leave some links down below where you can find more info on the Mi Audio MX lineup of in-ear monitors, how to get your own custom molds done, and where you can shop these puppies online. And don't forget to check out part one of this review to see that new lineup in action with a full breakdown on the different driver and tuning options from Mi Audio. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to this channel. More than just nerding out on the newest, shiniest accessories, the most popular for YouTube search, we wanna make sure folks get the right fit and the right sound for their ears. If you'd like to help support the production of those conversations, there are links down below or you could consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. It's a growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm planning future articles and reviews and field trips. They're good people. I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review. To be fair, she does talk about butterflies a lot, so she might steal these. <laughs> little afraid I'm going to break this. I don't know if your viewers know how much of a klutz I am, so. Oh, they're your earbuds, so if you break them, I'm not going to be too upset. <laughs>